let's discuss some math problems that might involve interest calculations. Let's say a problem says that a buyer purchased a property obtaining an 80% loan. The monthly interest paid in the first month was $800. The interest rate on the loan was 5%. Interest rates are always quoted on an annual basis. What would be the total sale price on this property? To begin with, we have two percentages in our math problem which tells us to draw two T's. Let's begin with the monthly interest of $800. Since the annual interest rate is 5%, we need to equate that with the annual interest paid. So we will take the $800 times 12 months to arrive at $9,600 total interest for the first year. We then go to our T formula. The interest rate on the loan was 5% and the percentage always goes in the bottom right. So 5% goes in the bottom right of our first T. The $9,600 in annual interest paid will be a smaller number in relationship to the loan amount. So the $9,600 goes up on top. We therefore take the top number and divide by the bottom number. So we will take $9,600 and divide by 5% to give us our whole amount or loan amount of $192,000. Once we have this number, we know that the loan represents 80% of the total value. So to get the total value, we'll go to our second T. Our percentage is 80%, which goes in the bottom right. The loan amount will be a smaller number in relationship to the value, so the $192,000 is the part. So we then take $192,000 and divide by 80% to come up with a total value of $240,000. That would be the whole amount or our answer, $240,000. Let's say a problem says that a property was purchased with the buyer obtaining a $180,000 loan. The interest rate on the loan was 4% with a 30-year term. Monthly principal and interest payments were $1,079.20. What was the total amount of interest paid on this loan over the 30-year term? This is the one time we do not have to use a T. Let's look at the monthly payment of $1,079.20, which represents the principal and interest payments. Let's take the $1,079.20 times 12 months to find out how much we pay each year in principal and interest and that will give us $12,950.40. Since this is a 30-year term, the borrower will pay that annual amount over 30 years. So if we take $12,950.40 times 30 years, that gives us a total payback of principal and interest over the entire loan of $388,512. That represents P&I or principal and interest. Let's then subtract out the loan amount of $180,000, which is the principal. The principal is your loan amount. And the balance will be how much had to be applied to interest. So if we take $388,512 minus $180,000, that means the amount going toward interest over the entire 30 years was $208,000. $512. Our answer again would be $208,512. Let's say a problem says that a buyer purchased a property obtaining an 80% loan on a 10-year straight note. A straight note is also called a term loan, which means we have equal amounts of interest each month. The interest paid over the first three years was $18,000 with an interest rate of 6%. Remember, interest rates are always quoted on an annual basis. What was the purchase price of the property? In this case, I once again have two percentages in the map problem, so we will draw two T's. Let's first off look at that 6% annual interest rate. That has to equate to annual interest paid. We have $18,000 of interest paid over three years. And since a straight note is equal amounts of interest each month, we can simply take the 18,000 and divide by three years, which means that we paid 6,000 in interest per year. 
Let's then go to our T formula. The 6% interest rate will go on the bottom right for the percentage. The 6,000 in interest will be the part, that's a smaller number, in relationship to the loan amount. So our formula tells us to take the top number and divide by the bottom number once again. So we will take $6,000 and divide by 6%. That gives us our whole amount, or our loan amount, of $100,000. That will be on the bottom left, $100,000. Notice that the loan represents 80% of our total value. So now we go to our second T. We know where 80% goes, bottom right, for your percentage. The $100,000 loan will go up on top for the part, because the loan amount represents part of the total value. So we take $100,000 and divide by 80%, and that gives us our whole amount for the total value of $125,000, and that would be our answer.